Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews doing another video today. In today's video, yes, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that you can use with your mini Google Home or your regular Google Home. And just go over some nice features that this thing can actually do for you. But before I do that, check this out. Okay everyone, so I've been having a Google Home for a while now. I know a lot of people who picked up the mini Google Home because it's like $29 still. So I just want to give out some tips and tricks. Some things that you may not know and some things you may know already. If you know any other tips that I don't mention in this video, please leave them in the comments because we can definitely learn from each other. The coolest one now, I don't know if people are aware, you can actually make phone calls on here. And you can actually set up many different accounts. Like if you have kids or your wife, you can actually have Google recognize their voice and call numbers from their um, contact list or your contact list, just depending on the voice. Since, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you just my voice, but I'm going to show you how you can actually get your number to show up on the call ID too, because that's a new feature too. So what you want to do is find your Google Home app. Bam, there it is. You bring it up. And then you just hit the settings button. And then you go to more settings. And then you want to go down to... Where it says calls on speakers. There you go. And what you do, you can edit your phone number there. So when you call somebody, it actually shows up with your phone number and not an unknown number. Which they just, you know, made an update for that. So that's pretty cool. So let's actually try this out. See if my mom will answer the phone. Hey Google, call mom. Calling mom mobile. Hey, before you say anything, you're on a uh, video for YouTube. I'm just calling you through my Google Home. Huh? Okay. I'm I'm making a video for YouTube, so don't say nothing inappropriate. Oh, okay. Okay, so I was just testing out something and showing a feature off. But I'm going to call you later, okay? Okay. All right, okay. bye. 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 Okay, Google, hang up. All right, so that's actually a pretty cool feature there. So you can make phone calls. It shows up as your phone number now, which is, you know, I mean, to me, that's actually a really good feature. I definitely like it. The next thing you can actually do is set up reminders now. So, I mean, you can actually set up where if you want to find your keys or anything like that, you can actually set Google to do it. So all you need to do for that is, hey, Google, Set a reminder for me at 8 o'clock tonight to pop fireworks. Okay, I'll remind you today at 8 p.m. So, and that's pretty simple to do. You set a reminder. If you pull up your calendar on your phone, within about five minutes later, you will actually see that, uh, that event in your calendar. And then around 7.55 or so, it will actually pop up on your phone to remind you what you need to do. The next thing you can actually do... I mean, say you want to, you always forget where your keys are. Hey, Google, remind me that I left my keys in the refrigerator at home. Sure, at home. I'll remind you on your phone. So, say if you lost your keys, hey, Google, where's my keys? Here's what you told me. First, I put my keys in the refrigerator. Second, to put my keys in the refrigerator. Okay, Google, stop. So... I mean, you could do it, you could use it that way too. So if you want to set up a reminder for yourself or if you need an event, you can actually um, tell it and it will put it on your calendar, which is actually, you know, pretty cool too. The next step, I don't know, Bumpy Cam, I don't know if people are aware of this step either. So if you want to change your voice, you can actually change the voice on your Google Home. So let me bring up the Google Home app again. Here we go. So you go back there and then you can go to more settings. And what you want to do is that one. And then where it says assistance voice, you just go to voice two. And I'm going to see, let's see. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant here to help you throughout your day. And that's an example of, the, uh, of his voice. So let's try this out too. Hey Google, what's up? 
Just searching for answers to life's big and small questions. What can I help you with? Okay, Google, stop. So if you want to change your voice, that's actually how you can change your voice, which is pretty cool. That's a nice little tip. If you, you know, if you don't like the, the girl voice, you can change it to a male. It's a nice little trick to have. Change it up. I freaked out my kids with it the other day. They didn't know what was going on with uh, their Google Home. You can actually uh, set up sleep timers now for media play. So if you want to listen to some music and you're playing it and, and you want you want to go to sleep at a certain time or you don't want it to play all through the night, you can actually set up a reminder for a sleep timer. Now, the music has to be playing for, for you to set up a timer. So what you can do is say, hey, Google. Play waterfall uh, sounds. Playing waterfall sounds on Google Play Music. Hey Google, sl set a sleep timer for 10 seconds. Master bedroom speaker will stop playing in 10 seconds. So there you go, in 10 seconds it stopped. Actually works pretty good. It's actually a cool little feature, so if you want to play music for a couple hours, let you go to sleep. If you want to play waterfall music, you can do that also. So that's a nice thing they added to your Google Home or your mini Google Home. The other thing that you can do is if you want to send information from your phone. So if you ask Google a question and you want that information sent to your phone, you can actually do that also. And it's pretty simple too to do. Say, hey Google, how are the New Orleans Saints doing today? Currently, the Saints are leading the Buccaneers 14-13 to in the second quarter. Okay, Google, send that information to my phone. All right, the details are on your phone. Okay, so what it does is actually sends that information to your phone, which is actually pretty cool. Currently, they are leading the Buccaneers 14-13 to in the second quarter. There you go. That's actually pretty cool. It will send it to your phone. So you can Google anything, and it will do it to your phone. The next thing... Um, that I want to show y'all and actually it's actually pretty cool too is that if you lose your phone around your house or you know you might leave it outside who knows where you leave it, it might fall in the sofa I don't I don't know wherever you if you can't find your phone in the house you can actually tell Google now it will only do one phone number that I know of I can't get it to do my other phone number unless I have it linked up to another account then yes maybe you can with a different voice but all you need to do is say hey Google Find my phone. Okay, calling your phone. And what it will do, and there you go. It will call the phone. I don't know what number that is, but it will call your phone, and you can actually pick it up and answer if you wanted to. But I'm going to just hang it up. I do have the volume turned off, so it doesn't turn the ring on. So if you don't have your ring on, then unfortunately, it won't turn the ring on, but... You know, most of the time I have my ring on on my house, so not a big deal. Okay, everyone, so the next tip I'm going to give you is actually pretty cool. You can actually turn on and turn off your TV now if you have a Chromecast hooked up to that TV. And it's actually pretty easy to do. All you need to do is say, hey, Google, turn on TV with Chromecast. And what that does is actually turn on the TV, as you can tell now. Now, if you want to play your favorite YouTuber on that Chromecast, this is not new, but it's something that's pretty cool that you can do also. Hey, Google, play Phone Tech at Work 2017 collab video on YouTube on Angela's Army. All right, playing Phone Tech at Work 2017 collab videos from YouTube on Angela's Army. So, now you can see that it's actually shown... Um, Alan Anthony's video from Phone Tech at Work, our collab video that we did the other day for our favorite phones. I will have the link in the description to this video so that way you can check it out yourself. Now, I mean, that's pretty cool. It's playing the video and that's just another tip or trick that you can actually use your Google Home for. Okay, everyone. So I saved the last tip for the best, I think. I do like this new feature that Google has, you know, made available on your Google Home or your mini Google Home. Or you can actually do it with your assistant on your phone too and broadcast it to either device. But it's broadcasting pretty much. So you can tell 
your kids, you could tell anybody in your house if you have different Google Homes placed throughout your home. You can say, hey, Google, broadcast is dinner time. Okay, broadcasting now. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. So what that does actually rings throughout all my Google Homes I have in your house. So if you have multiple ones, you can do that. But you can broadcast any type of message. So let's try this one. Hey Google, broadcast what's up, kids? Okay, broadcasting now. What's up, kids? So it actually says it in your voice throughout your whole Google Home. Okay, everyone, so that was some tips and tricks that I did with my Google Home or mini Google Home. Either one you have, you can actually do it. Please let me know what you thought about this video. If you enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so for more coverage on the Google Home. Anytime it gets an update, I might drop a video because I like to inform people and just let them know what they can get out of that uh, their new product that they have and get the most out of it because we all pay for our tech. Why not get the most out of what you, you know, what you buy? And I feel like I help people out with this video. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.